Hey everyone, I am at the Western Development Museum in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. So I was in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan for the Egg in Motion show and a co-worker and I got to visit the Western Development Museum here in Saskatoon. So I'm going to take you around the museum here and show you around. Of course, he's been here before, but I haven't. So a lot of neat stuff here as far as automotive, history, uh, a lot of agriculture stuff and so forth. So we're just going to take the next uh, almost 15 minutes, walk around this place and check it out. The last time I was in Saskatoon was 1998, so it's been 21 years. And what brought me to Saskatoon back then was I was working for Gale, and 1998 was the year Gale introduced the 2412 swing frame disc mower conditioner. And there was a major update on those, and they had us field reps do it. So a field rep from New York and I flew up here, and all the parts were shipped here. We had to change out the tongue, drive shaft, uh, took about four hours per machine, but they just had us do it. We traveled around... Uh, northern Saskatchewan and Alberta and took care of them updates but anyways let's get back to the museum here how about that that Minneapolis Moline tractor that would just be awesome to have and that tractor was so far ahead of its time I'm actually surprised somebody else hasn't developed a tractor slash automobile but uh, anyways well I know some people that use them as automobiles but that's beside the point but yeah just look at all these awesome cars here in mint condition so uh, like I said Get up here. If you're up here, you got to check this place out. Just a lot of awesome stuff, and you're going to see a lot more coming up. And a good old wood grain station wagon. Probably would have been embarrassed as heck as a kid if I was riding around with my parents in that thing. But now, I'd love to cruise town in this. It's uh, just a good-looking vehicle, in my opinion. But I uh, bet you could really pick up the ladies with that if you were cruising around town. What do you think, guys? And this, that's really cool, too. Okay. So this is the absolute oldest engine you will type of engine you'd ever see here. Okay. Now you got a Brantford. And I love model railroads, so definitely spend some time here checking this out. Had a train set in my uh, basement when I was a kid. Of course, I never got into this kind of detail because I didn't know what I was doing, but I sure tried. But I had an uncle, my mom's oldest brother. He had one heck of a train set in his basement. And then he moved, and the last I talked to him, he still had everything, but it was in boxes right now. But anyways, I love this kind of stuff, but this is probably going to have to wait for my retirement to get back into this. So this next clip, I'm going to walk right through town. I'm going to check out inside some of the buildings and so forth. And I'm going to quit talking. But this next clip is a straight 8.8 .8 minutes. So there's some different things going on here. So I'm just going to quit talking right now and let you take it all in. But like I said, you got to come here. It's neat. It's all under roof. You can come here year-round. Check it out.
we're going to get back here to the farm machine report in a little bit, but uh, let's go check out uh, behind me here, and I'll be back to this spot, I promise. I remember so well that long ride to our homestead. Forty miles of the rough trails, if there wasn't a train at all. I could see so far over the line. And then, coming to the top of the garage, it would be a road home. I first wanted to step in. And then, I'm so tired of the dust. So tired of what's in this mission. Golden Jubilee. Mom and 
dad finally retired. Right here in town. And they sold the car to Caroline. Okay, I'm a man of my word, so let's go back here and check out some vintage farm equipment. So my uh, co-worker Aaron took me through here. There is a lot of just one-of-a-kind stuff that you only see here. Uh, some of this stuff was experimental. There was only one or two made of, and one of them just happens to be here in the museum. So we're just going to walk around, and you look in the back there. There's some stuff to be worked on or, or brought back to... Uh, museum level and anyways just gonna walk through here check it all out if I didn't stop long enough feel free to pause and look at what you want but I'm gonna say it again and I'll probably say it again before the video is over but come here check it out a lot of awesome stuff so I'm told a lot of these uh, big steam engines and stuff you see here were brought up here just to break the prairie open and then they were parked and there's a lot of steam engines out sitting in trees and so forth and guys are trying to find them, resurrect them, pulling them out with helicopters and so forth, bringing them back out to restore them and whatnot. But uh, anyways, a lot of neat Canadian history up here. That's one thing in the uh, United States, they don't teach us Canadian history. And I'm sure, I don't know if Canadians teach uh, their kids U.S. history. But anyways, uh, just a lot of neat stuff like the Dust Bowl, for example. When I went back through that one part, uh, you think of the Dust Bowl, you think of Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas back in the day. But it went all the way up here to... Uh, Saskatchewan and so forth so anyways uh, just gonna take the next couple minutes here walk through here and check the rest of this farm machinery out for you so walking through here here's something of interest the red tractor you see there two wheels in the front one in the back called a little devil I am told there was only four of these built and it had uh, it was dangerous it was a dangerous machine and the company actually took them back but there's one left and uh, you see it right here. The other ones were chopped up and are recycled into something else by now. If you hit a rock and you saw the engine, there's a chance it would run backwards and back the tractor up and roll over. Oh. Another rumly. Okay, and that is going to wrap up the museum, but here is some bonus footage. So the Western Development Museum over at their, I guess their corporate headquarters or whatever in Saskatoon has a bunch of other stuff that is not really open to the public, but because my coworker knows the right people, we got to come back here and check some things out. So going to end the video with this. Uh, they got this versatile here to be uh, restored redone but they have so much stuff in here and i'm not just talking farm equipment i'm talking cars history all kinds of good stuff but anyways get up here check this place out can't guarantee you can get back here and check all this out and i'm only covering a small part of what they showed me back here just lots of neat stuff i uh, got a couple more videos coming up from western canada here we did tour uh, a museum up in north battleford saskatchewan saskatchewan <laughs> and also, we went to uh, Reynolds Museum over in, I think it's with Toscom, Alberta, and just seen a lot of neat stuff on this trip. Plus, I got the video from the Manitoba Egg Museum of all their stuff. I got to get that done too, guys. I got a lot of videos coming, uh, just a lot of neat stuff, so stay tuned. I will try to get to those videos the best I can. I got so much to get through, and I need time to edit. So, thanks for watching.